All right, I've got the finished product here. Just a quick little update from uh, my uh, last video that showed uh, the basic when I was uh, getting excited and hooked it all up. So basically all I did was uh, uh, filled these up with gravel, which I went to a local, uh, I don't know what you call them, stone gravel yard, and uh, just got four buckets of pea gravel from them. I could have, if you're not lazy, I guess you could just go to the river stream or something close to your house and get some gravel but uh and then uh siphoned it off to clean it as good as possible and then uh went and got these plants so the plants are planted i wanted to try one that was already established so i got these uh, tomato plants uh cleaned off the roots really well shook off all the potting soil cleaned them off then put it in there so that that wouldn't mix in with the water same with the uh, jalapenos here uh got those little ones just to see how they work out and uh, I moved it from the corner back, moved it over here so I could get some more light just on the side of the house. It was kind of tucked in the corner earlier, so I uh, did that. And then I ran the uh, electrical line, kind of ghetto along the siding here. And then I didn't want it to get uh, rained on, obviously, so I got the five gallon bucket, drilled a little Mickey Mouse type holes down there with the uh, with the little drill, whatever. Put the timer, the outlets in here, so it's rainproof, won't get messed up. I guess I should put a little drip on those cords so that if it does rain, it doesn't drip in. But they're going into the bottom of the thing, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, pump is pumping. It's actually not pumping right now, but uh, there's the pump. Coming up into this T, instead of using the five gallon bucket, I'm just using this T instead, which is just loosely in there. Uh, goes into both buckets. Now we got some minnows in there, which I use for feeding feeders for my uh, aquarium fish inside the house. But it works good to, uh, I can have those in here. So, that's about it. Eventually I'd like to get some tilapia or some catfish or something, but uh, I live in Dallas and I'm having a hard time finding uh, fingerlings in the area. So, if anybody uh, knows where I can find those, I'd love to hear your comments on those. Or if you even have a aquaponics system in the area like to do a show and tell that would be cool too anyways so this is the basic one I'm looking forward to see how it uh, starts out I tried to make this as cheap as possible like I said and uh, we'll see how it goes hopefully in a couple months we'll have some big plants here I might put some pictures up to uh, let you see how it goes alright thanks for watching